Okay, so in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can use the routers in a React app. So, first thing we will need is uh, we need to install this React Router DOM package, and then you can use the uh, routes. So, basically, with the help of routes, what you can do is you can render different components based upon the URL. For example, here we have got one uh, route in app js so you can see i uh, got these routes so if my website is say xyz.com and then slash hello that is the url then this component will be rendered if the url ends with slash c1 then this component will be rendered so using this switch jsx expression i can switch between different different routes uh, like um, it depends upon like what URL is in the, uh, the path URL path is there. So if the URL path contains slash hello or ends with the slash hello, then this component will be rendered. And if it is C1, then this component will be rendered and so on. So that is possible with the help of this particular model React router DOM. So you need to import this browser router route switch, and once you import that one then you can switch in between these routes and render different components based upon the url for example in normal website you can have about us or contact us pages so you can specify different routes for those pages for example about us And then you can render your about us component if you have that. And then that component will be rendered. So in Snowpack, uh, I faced one problem. I was not able to get this code to work. So even if I put the slash hello, it was giving me error 404. And the reason why that was happening is because uh, in snowpack.config.js, you have to put this particular setting enable SPA fallback in development in development environment that routing doesn't work so you need to provide these settings match routes src dot star destination index dot html so basically what we are doing is uh, Any route will be uh, directed to the slash index.html. And then uh, from index.html, a React takes control of the application. And then it, it uses that switch syntax. So I'm just gonna quickly execute this particular application and then show you how it works. So you can see the application is up and running. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to different urls and say this one and then hello component should be rendered you can see the hello component is rendered if you go to say c1 then another component should be rendered so you can see c1 function component that another component is rendered so that is how you can use these uh, routes and you can also capture the uh, query parameters as well query strings Let's say x, y, z is equal to whatever value. And like that you can give as many parameters as you want in the query. So you can access that one as well uh, in the, with the help of this uh, route features in React. Thanks for watching this video.